video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create ROAS by time, CPA by time, and conversion rate by time. These three KPIs, custom metrics, how to create these three custom metrics, custom columns. Yesterday in the video, I discussed about what is the difference between convergence and convergence by time. If you haven't figured out the difference yet, please go and watch this video here. This will be this video is actually going to help you understand this concept really well because I have given solid examples uh, on a Google sheet. So please do yourself a favor. If you don't understand the difference, go watch that video now. And if you already understand the difference, move on. I'm going to show you how to create ROAS by time, CPA by time or conversion rate by time. Those who already know this, you've already figured it out. You don't need to watch the video. You can step uh, aside. But those who don't know the difference and don't know the custom columns, watch on. Okay, so we discussed about convergence by time and conversion value by time, right? Now, my question to you, what is the different, uh, default metric of ROAS? The formula of ROAS is conversion value upon cost. This is the default formula, right? Conversion value by cost. Therefore, if you want to understand ROAS by time, it's going to be not conversion value upon cost, it's going to be conversion value by time upon cost, right? So this is very simple. Go to columns here, modify columns, and then go under custom columns. You will see this is guided BPC custom columns that is there in all accounts under our MCC, but you can create custom columns here. So the first metric we want to create is ROAS by time. You can also call it uh, conversion value upon cost by time. But I think that's not the right name. The right name is ROAS by time. Because otherwise you will have to call it conversion value by time upon cost, right? So the default metric is conversion value upon cost. That's ROAS, default metric. And if you want to see the ROAS by time, conversion value by time upon cost. That's the formula basically. And we call this ROAS by time to understand this better. All right, so formula is very simple. Come to this uh, workspace here and type conversion value by conversion time. So where is that conversion value by conversion time? By conversion time, see? This is the metric and divide this by cost. There you go. That's the column and save it. Now that is your ROAS by time metric. Cool. And it will start showing you ROAS by time numbers now. See, for this campaign, convergence, conversion value was 1052. Cost was, let me expand the column, 1341. Uh, this is ROAS by time is 0 0.7. Don't worry, we are not managing this account yet. We are doing the audit. <laughs> This is a new lead. We are doing their audit and we are uh, going to get this number up really, really fast. Yeah. So don't judge us on the performance of this account right now. Okay. That's the ROAS by time. And likewise, you can create custom column for CPA by time. Because if you are looking at conversion value by time, you need to look at ROAS by time. If you are looking at convergence by time, then you need to look at CPA by time not the CPA, like if it would be uh, not right if you look at conversions by time and CPA as cost per conversion. Okay, so what is the different default uh, formula for CPA? CPA is cost upon conversions, right? Isn't it? Cost upon conversions, this is the default formula. Oops, it's very difficult to select here. Um, yeah, this is cost upon conversion, see? So, if you want to understand CPA by time, this is default CPA. If you want to understand the CPA by time, just simply do this math. Go to custom columns and let's call it CPA by time. Correct. Uh, let's say two because we already have, um, I will I'll call it CPA by conversion time. Okay. So convergence by conversion time and divide this with cost wrong 
CPA formula is the other way around, right? Cost upon conversions. Cost, oops, cost divided by conversions by time. This is your CPA by time formula, correct? And if you save this, you will see CPA by time here. I've already done the number. So this is your CPA by time. Now you have very clear convergence by time, CPA by time, conversion value by time, rho s by time. You can also likewise can calculate the conversion rate by time because if you are looking at convergence by time and CPA by time, then the conversion rate, if you are, if at all you are interested in, and you should be, you should be calculating conversion rate by time because conversions have changed, right? By time and by click metrics are different. So if you are looking at by time metrics, then you should be looking at conversion rate by time and what is this formula for conversion rate? Conversion rate formula is, let's look at the default formula first. Oops, where is conversion rate? So I'm going to add the conversion rate column here. It's not added. Uh, search for conversion rate. Conversion rate, right? This is all conversion rate. Uh, that's okay. It, it will give you the formula. All right. So what is conversion rate here? Where is conversion rate? Too many columns. I had my coffee, but where is conversion rate? I can't see. Can you see? CTR. Oops. Let me add again, just in case. Uh, conversion, or just say rate. Conversion rate here. Did I add conversion rate? Yes, it's here. So I'm going to put it here next to. All right, so that's your conversion rate. The default formula for conversion rate, if you roll over, conversion rate shows how often on average an ad interaction leads to a conversion. It's conversions divided by interaction on your ad. Right? Conversions divided by interactions, which is generally clicks. So conversion rate will be conversions divided by clicks or interactions. Therefore, conversion rate by time will be, formula will be <coughs> custom columns. Conversion rate by time will be convergence by conversion time by, no, sorry, uh, yeah, clicks or interactions. Interactions. This is your conversion by time. Cool. That's it. That's it. That is the video. Hope this is helpful. And like I said, if you haven't watched the conversions and conversions by time difference video, go ahead and watch it now. I'm adding one more time. Cheers.